Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video series, we are designing a one-page website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript with the help of Figma design. And we have completed the design of the desktop version. So this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we'll make this website responsive so that even the mobile users can have a great experience on your website. So let's get started. <laughs> Now in our Figma design, we already have a mobile version of our website. So this is how it looks. This is the header section and uh, the Our Client section where the logos are divided into two rows and uh, the About Us section here we have the text on the top and uh, the image at the bottom. And all the projects are placed one below the other. And the testimonials also has a different layout. And then the contact section, all the fields are one below the other. And then lastly, we have the footer. So we have changes to be made in every section of our web page. So let's go to our uh, source code. Now we will use media queries in CSS to make this website responsive. So for that, we have to set a maximum width for our uh, window. Now, if you want to see the width of our window right now, in Chrome, you can just right click over here and click on inspect. And then just minimize this. Now, whenever you change the size of the window, the dimensions of the window are displayed on the top right of uh, the screen. Now, for the mobile version of our website, we will set the maximum width to 650 pixels. So, whenever the window of our website is less than 650 pixels, then all the styles that we applied for the mobile version will be applied. So, let's just make the width less than 650 pixels for our browser. Alright, so let's scroll up and start with the header. Now let's uh, go to the end of the CSS and let's add a media query over here. So first of all, we'll add a comment. And to add a media query, you have to type at media and in parentheses, you can type max width of 650 pixels. Now, whatever style you specify over here inside this section will be applied to our website if the window size is less than 650 pixels. So let's just check it out by just typing star to select everything and uh, we'll just set display to none. And we can see that everything has disappeared. Now, if we increase the size of this window, when our page is greater than 650 pixels, this code is not being applied. So our media query is working. Now the first thing we'll do is uh, we will style the wrapper. So we'll type wrapper over here and uh, we will remove all the padding of the wrapper. So we'll just type padding zero. And now we can see we don't have any padding. Now we'll also set the width of the wrapper to auto. Right now it is set to, let's scroll up and uh, let's see what it is set to. Right now it is set to 1152 pixels. So now here we can see in our website, we can scroll horizontally. So we don't want that in our website. So let's set the width of our wrapper to auto. Now the width is set to auto. So now it will not have a fixed width. Now, if you go to the Figma design, we can see that the image is not visible on the mobile version. So let's go ahead and remove the right part of our header section. So here we will type hero container, right? And I will set the display to none. Now we can see that the image has disappeared. The next thing is that we don't have the menu items displayed here on the mobile version. Instead, we have this icon. So let's go over here and uh, we will type desktop nav dot menu items and we'll set the display to none. Now let's set the width of uh, this uh, desktop nav. So if we go to our Figma design and uh, let's zoom in a little bit and uh, let's see what is the spacing between the edge and uh, this nav. It is seven, we'll just set it to eight to be consistent with our design. So here we will type desktop nav. Now we need to set the width to 100% minus eight pixels over here on the left and eight pixels on the right, which is 16 pixels in total. So for that we'll use a calc and we'll type 100% minus 8 plus 8, 16 pixels. And uh, then we'll give a margin left of 8 pixels. 
we can also decrease the size of this logo a little bit so let's type desktop nav logo img and uh, let's see what should be the height we'll set it to 30 pixels initially i think i will just increase it to 36 pixels all right i think 36 looks fine all right now the next thing is that we need to have the icon over here on the right so we have to go to the index.html file and uh, here in the desktop nav division we'll create a new division with the class of menu icon after this logo division so here we'll tap menu icon and in that we'll have the image so we'll tap img and for the image i have given a name of menu icon now we can see that the menu icon is being displayed over here now before styling the menu icon for our mobile version we have to first of all remove it from the desktop version because uh, since we added this in our html it will be displayed in the desktop version as well so here before our media queries we will type desktop nav dot menu icon and we'll set it to display none for the desktop version now it won't be displayed on a desktop version but we want it to be displayed on a mobile version so let's go to the bottom over here and we'll type desktop nav menu icon and we'll set the display to block and also the cursor to pointer so that uh, when we hover over this we have this uh, pointer icon now let's add a padding to our desktop nav so here we will type padding of 0 pixels for top and bottom and uh, 30 pixels for left and right i think it would be better to add some top and bottom paddings as well so we'll just change this to 4 pixels all right that looks fine now let's focus on these polygons now we need to remove the last polygon so here we will type hero container dot polygon 3 and uh, we will set it to display none and then for polygon 1 and uh, 2 I will just set some left and uh, top values so I just calculated this beforehand so I will type polygon and uh, here we will type left of 32 pixels and top of 150 pixels and I will just copy this for polygon 2 and uh, for polygon 2 we will have left of 300 pixels and uh, top of 280 pixels now let's add a padding left to this uh, left section over here so he will type hero container dot left and uh, we will set a padding left of uh, 50 pixels and we will also change the font size of these so if you go to the figma design and if you double click over here and uh, here we can see for the paragraph we have a font size of 18 pixels and uh, for this heading we have a font size of 30 pixels so here we will type hero container left p and we will set the font size to 18 pixels and uh, then for hero container left h1 we will set a font size of 30 pixels now between the paragraph and the heading we have a lot of gap so for the paragraph we will type margin bottom of 0 all right that looks all right now let's go to our figma design and uh, let's see the size of the button so if we double click over here we can see the font size of the button is 16 pixels so let's go over here and we'll type a.btn and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels all right that's it with the header section of our mobile design now let's start with the brands section if you go to the figma design we can see that for the brand section we have divided it into two rows so we need to make some changes in our html for this to work so let's go to the html and uh, let's go to the brand section now what we'll do is we'll divide these images into two divisions so let's add the first three images inside a division with a class of brands line one and we'll just cut this ending division after three images and then for the other two images uh, we will have a division with a class of brands line two all right now let's open the desktop version and see whether everything is all right 
So we have some problems over here in the desktop version. So let's fix it first. So let's go to our CSS and uh, let's go to the brands section. Now here let's add the styles for brands line 1 and brands line 2. So we'll type brands section brands line 1 and we'll set the display to flex and justify content to space around. Now we can add a property called flex to tell it how much space it should take. Now we'll just set the flex of brands line 1 to 2 and uh, this one to 1 so that the left one will have more space than the right one. So we'll type flex 2 and we'll just copy these uh, lines of code for the brands line 2 and for the flex we'll just type 1. So now we can see everything is working alright. So let's go back to the mobile design. So let's scroll down and uh, start with the brand section. So we'll add a comment and we'll type brand section over here. Now first of all we need to remove these uh, rounded corners. So if we go to our Figma design, we don't have rounded corners for the mobile design. So here we'll type brands section and uh, we will set the border radius to 0 and we'll also set a padding of 32 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Now let's style the H2 inside the sections. So if we double click over here, we can see that the font size is 24. So here we'll type brand section H2 and we'll also target the headings of all the sections. So we'll type section H2 and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels. We'll also change the position of this underline. So we'll type brand section h2 colon colon after and section h2 colon colon after and we'll set the top position to 100%. We'll also change the width of the underline. So we'll type width to 40 pixels. Alright, that looks fine. And uh, we'll just type transform translate x to set it to the right of our heading. So we'll set it to minus 40 pixels. Now we want the divisions with the classes of brands line 1 and brands line 2 to be one below the other. So for that we'll type brand section brands container and we'll set the flex direction to column. So now we can see that the divisions are one below the other. Now let's change the size of these images. So we'll type brands section brands container img and we'll set the height to 24 pixels. And let's also add some spacing between the first and the second lines. So we'll type brands section, brands line 1. And we'll set a padding bottom of 25 pixels. Now we'll set the width of uh, the first division to 100%. So we'll type brands section, brands line 1 and width of 100%. And then we'll set the width of the second division which is brands line 2 to 60% so we'll type brands section and we'll type brands line 2 and we'll set the width to 60% so that's basically it with the brands section so we have designed the mobile version of the header as well as the brand section alright so that's it with this video in the next video we will style the remaining sections of our website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.